Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today we are going to be having a look at some absolutely incredible attacks. Now these attacks are done by me and at the end of the episode I will feature a clanmate of mine. He uh, shared a replay and it is a pretty decent loot raid so I just wanted to add it as a bonus at the end of the episode. But today we are going to be having a look at some absolutely incredible raids. These raids have so much freaking loot in them. I'm talking about 600,000 of each raid. I mean literally this is just absolutely incredible and also my clan castle is full to the top like literally every single one of the resources we all have them full full like literally to the top as you can see they are full like 2,400,000 of each and 12,000 dark elixir that is a very decent amount of loot so I'm really happy about that now before we actually start the episode I just wanted to show you guys to actually tell you guys how you actually pronounce my channel name now as you can see my channel name is actually written as an A S A S C H A and how do you pronounce it now, now many people have actually tried to pronounce it and they fail miserably and I laugh so hard at them because literally it is so funny seeing those people actually trying to pronounce my name and just failing miserably and so I am going to actually tell you how you pronounce the name so the name is pronounced as in Sasha so Sasha is how you pronounce it just imagine the actual name as in A S A S H A because if it was like that like without the C if you would take out the C it would be pronounced as in Sasha and I have sort of made the name up in a way and so I had to add the C in the name but it is so I can understand how it is complicated for people to actually pronounce the name people try and say it as in a Saska a Sascha I, I really don't know how they actually do it but I can understand why it is actually um, like sort of hard to pronounce the name I just wanted to mention that it is pronounced as in Sasha so with that being outside of the way I am going to actually start the episode so let's go ahead into my attack log and as you can see we have some pretty damn good loot raids so let's go ahead and actually check out this loot raid right here the 100% and these loot raids they are obviously also very good trophy raids because I am currently pushing to Titans League uh, short disclaimer if you haven't started watching the actual series that we are doing pushing to Titans League I would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and watch the first episode because that is actually where it all starts and if you do enjoy that first episode then please do make sure to go ahead and check out the other two episodes or three episodes not quite sure how many we have done until this point but it is an absolutely awesome series the uh, actual feedback has been amazing and so I am going to keep pushing I am going to reach Titans League that is for sure I am not quitting until I actually get to Titans League but anyways this video is not about Titans League it is all about the freaking loot that is actually in Champions League 2 so if you do want to farm and you are a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 10 then please do make sure to go up into Champions League 2 I don't think a Town Hall 8 can make it that easily but if you are a very very skilled attacker then please go ahead go into Champions League 2 I can make it as a Town Hall 8 that is for sure my trophy best as a Town Hall 8 was 3217 trophies that was my trophy best for a very 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 long time I think that was my pr trophy best until like what like one or two weeks ago so literally I pushed the Champions League 2 as a Town Hall 8 but anyways I am getting off topic once again as you can see we have already collected almost every single drop of the loot the actual rest of the loot is in this one single uh, gold collector and in the town hall obviously I don't think there is any loot in the clan castle I can't see any gold on the top of the clan castle because if you saw my clan castle at the beginning of the episode it was stacked with gold on the top of the clan castle so I'm not quite sure if there is any loot in the clan castle but I mean literally look at this raid I mean 346,000 gold and 385,000 elixir at the 240,000 of each bonus that is a total of almost 600,000 of each so that is almost a 1.2 million loot rate of each obviously not of each sorry uh, 1.2 million loot rate in total but that is just absolutely crazy and I have so many attacks to show you I could not actually finish uh, showing you the attacks because it would just take too long the episode would be way too long but yeah I don't think there was anything in the actual clan castle and we didn't even have to use all of our troops that is good because I really don't want to waste too many troops what am I even talking about but anyways let's go ahead into the attack log once again and uh, before we do that just uh, to show you what I actually meant with the gold on the top of the clan castle in case you guys didn't understand it quite yet 
So as you can see, my clan castle is full with gold. It is stacked with gold, and so the other clan castle didn't have the gold. I'm not quite sure if it shows it in the battle if it is full, but I do think it actually does show it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead, go into the attack log once again and show you which attack should I show you. Here we go, this one. This is a very good attack. So this guy is a town hall at 10, and literally just look at the top left of your screen. It is just absolutely crazy. 600,000 gold and 570,000 elixir. That is just insane. That is a total of 1.2 million right there. So uh, sadly we didn't get every single drop of the loot, but we did get a very, very decent amount of loot. So I am really happy with the loot I actually got off of a Town Hall 10. And I am so glad this guy was upgrading that one Inferno Tower. Because if it wasn't upgrading, it would have already taken down some of my balloons. Because it is in range of the balloons of this balloon right here, for example. And of the other one, and it would have taken them out. So I wouldn't have been able to get into the center that easily. And so I am so glad this guy was actually uh, upgrading his Inferno tower that is very good for me and we are also obviously aiming for the 50 percent because we do not want to lose any trophies but uh, literally these loot rates they are just crazy and also look at all those air mines i mean literally some air mines over here took down some of my baby dragons some air mines over here crazy crazy but anyways so i am dropping in a single baby dragon because i if i were to drop more baby dragons they would obviously not be raged up and uh, they wouldn't do as much damage so literally i'm dropping a single baby dragon in the center of the base hoping it will get all of the loot i will have to drop some more but one at a time so they do keep that rage obviously i am dropping some baby dragons on the outside of the base because on this side of the base there is some more loot and obviously i do need the 50 percent so that is why i am dropping some baby dragons on the outside of the base and as well on the top of the base right here so what else well i mean literally that is basically it i mean i could now speed it up should i speed it up yeah let's just speed it up there is literally nothing else to see there is a single baby dragon in the center of the base taking down that town hall that is awesome there it goes baby dragon on that gold so it's dropping in another one because i saw that inferno tower was actually targeting the baby dragon and the actual air defense also took down the baby dragon so we have a final baby dragon on the top of the base on the center of the base sorry and i don't think we have any other units we do have some archers on the outside of the base but i think i'm going to actually just end the episode drop the queen i think uh, for a final thing i don't know why just to take out the dark electro i guess and so yeah that is basically the raid let's have a look at the total amount of loot we actually got so 462,000 gold 380,000 elixir and uh, plus the loot bonus i believe it is 200,000 of each or 240,000 of each let me just check a uh, real quick so where is it is it uh here it is so 225,000 of each if you get the 70 percent if you don't it's about 200,000 of each so that is also really really good um let's just go ahead go into the attack log what was the replay i just showed you i think it was, it was uh, this one right here so I got a 61%, so I guess I got about 200,000 of each after the loot bonus. So that adds up to about 662,000 gold and uh, what is it, like 580,000 elixir. That is just absolutely crazy. I mean, just think about it. Think about getting so much loot in just a single raid. That is just crazy. Let's go ahead, check out one more replay. Then we are going to check out the loot bonus, like the bonus, uh, as in the bonus attack at the end of the episode. And then we are going to upgrade some things with the actual loot we currently have in our storages. So we are now going to check out this replay right here, going up against Nuts on your chin i do not know why he chose that name that is literally just a crazy name no idea why anyone would choose that but obviously that is his opinion he can do whatever he wants to i am not his mother to tell him what to do obviously but here we go dropping in the baby dragons obviously on the outside of the base i am a little bit zoomed out but that is because we have so many units on the actual base on the bottom of the base on the left hand side of the base you just saw i took down the air defense with two baby dragons just to make sure that the actual rest of the baby dragons go into the center of the base and don't get destroyed by any other uh, air defenses and uh, so there i'm going to drop another baby dragon i believe on this side of the base to take out this archer queen because otherwise she is going to do a lot of damage to the rest of my baby dragons and we do not want that so yes i was correct as you can see dropping in that final baby dragon to take out that uh, uh, that baby archer queen that archer queen she is not a baby a level 22 queen is definitely not a baby archer queen that is a pretty powerful archer queen not gonna lie my king is actually going up to level 22 so that is pretty awesome i already have the dark elixir to actually get him up to level 23 so the moment he wakes up we are going to be upgrading him up to level 23 so that's going to be awesome on the one side and on the other side it is going to suck a little bit because uh, basically i will not have my barbarian king for another seven days 
But what can I do? I mean, I am finding so much loot up here in Champions. Wow, did you see all of those uh, Seeking Ammons and Ammons? That was crazy. Uh, sorry to interrupt what I was saying. What was I even talking about? Um, I think, uh, what was I talking about? I literally just forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the Barbarian King. We are going to be upgrading him up to level 23 once we actually uh, once he actually wakes up so we are going to do that immediately and he is literally not going to be attacking even a single time i believe and anyways let's get into this raid so we already have a total of 250,000 gold and 260,000 elixir we are still going to get a little bit of uh, loot because we are going to drop the archer queen at the end of the raid let me speed it up a little bit because it's literally just these two baby dragons doing nothing or more than just taking out the elixir collectors and the actual army camp so there is that one edit defense being a little bit annoying taking on my baby dragons because I did want that dark elixir so I did drop the final baby dragon on that and distracted the air defense with the actual minions and here we go in a few seconds time I am going to drop the archer queen to take out some more gold soldiers and some more elixir soldiers so here she goes and now I ended the raid because I didn't want that expert to actually target my queen so she does not loot and lose any raid because I had to go on defense after that but anyways that is a really good amount of loot if you add the loot bonus that is a total of uh, what is it like 500 and something thousand of each which is equivalent to 1 million loot in total so that's really awesome let's go back to base show you the final uh, bonus replay so here it is it is up here um so here we go not much but a decent amount of loot xx tonio xx going in on this base he is a member of our clan and i asked him if he wanted to be featured in this episode so i'm just going to go over this replay really quick a really really good amount of loot if he was in a higher league Obviously, he would have gotten uh, a very good loot bonus, but he is in gold league, so I guess the loot bonus isn't really that good. I really have no idea what the loot bonus is. I will have a guess right now, but this is just a guess. This is not like uh, any proof or something. I will have a guess and say like the loot bonus is about 12,000 of each. I really don't know if that was a good guess or a bad guess. So literally, if you are in Gold League, tell me down below in the comment section whether that is correct or not. But anyways, this this base is already dead. I mean, literally, there is only one gold mine over here on the top of the base that he sadly did not get. But that is okay. He got a total of 300,000 gold, 326,000 elixirs. So that is really good. Props to Tonio. Shout out to Tonio. Really nice attack right there. And uh, so yeah, that is pretty awesome. Let's go back to base and actually collect the uh, loot from the actual clan castle because it is a lot of loot. Um, and so then we are going to upgrade a single wall and then we are going to end the episode. So here we go collecting all of the loot from the mines and pumps and obviously the Dark Elixir drills. So let's go ahead, collect the clan castle loot and then upgrade some walls. So here we go, going in on the treasury. So this is literally so much loot. I don't even know if I want to collect it, but obviously what else are we going to do? Are we going to sit here and not do anything with this loot from the treasury? No, we are not. We are going to just go ahead and collect it right now and upgrade some walls. So here we go, collect Collecting loot in 3, 2, 1, boom, there we go, look at all that loot getting collected into my base, so that is awesome, 6.65 million gold, 4 million elixir, and 123,000 uh, dark elixir, so that is really awesome, let's go ahead, upgrade some walls, and uh, so here we go, one wall going in, 1, 2, 3, there it is, 3 million gold down the drain for a single bloody wall, 3 more million, 1, 2, 3, boom, there we go, and that is 3 more million for the walls, and let's upgrade one more wall, with some elixir so here we go three two one and boom another three freaking million for only three walls that was nine million loot in total for three walls yes exactly that is a pain now you guys have a guess how many walls we actually do still have in the base don't go ahead and count them please be honest just have a random guess it is literally just these five compartments five compartments what am i even talking about it is just three compartments so that is really awesome have a guess don't even count the walls it is not worth it i just want to have a look at your guess so that would be absolutely awesome let me know down below in the comment section what your actual guess is but with that being said guys i would like to end the episode right here so if you did enjoy this episode then please do make sure to smash that like button let's aim for 15 likes specific because this episode was literally full of loot and so many upgrades it was awesome also comment down below how many walls you think i still have to upgrade in my base that would be absolutely appreciated and also if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please do make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily content and with that being said i'll see you next time guys peace out